Tony Ferguson at the press conference earlier in the week said that Michael Chandler has Dana White privilege. Yeah. What is Dana White privilege? I don't know. That's the first I've heard of it. It's <laughs> hilarious. And, uh, and can I have some Dana yeah, White privilege? I, yeah. I feel like I have it if you're coming on the show for the second time here in the studio, but, we, we, but always, I don't know what it is. You always have these fighters <laughs> who feel, you know, oh, you know, the company's against me. They want me to lose. They don't like me. They, they're, they're all paranoid like that. And I think th- these guys see Michael Chandler as a guy, you know, if, I, I mean, even if you look at Oliveira, guy's been in the UFC for 11 years, he's finally getting a title shot. You know, Chandler's getting it this quick. Just everything in life is about timing, and timing has definitely worked out for Michael Chandler. So, Dana White privilege, is it a real thing? Is it not a real thing? Um, No. I don't think it's a real thing, but I think that fighters think that it's a real thing. I think that they think that I have my favorites, and you know, I'm, I'm assuming they they think that Michael Chandler is one of my new favorites. Is it ever difficult to not let maybe your personal feelings about a particular fighter or things maybe they have said about you publicly or to the media, you know, impact you when you're trying to negotiate and make the best fights for the fans? Yeah, no. I, listen, maybe. 10, 15 years ago, that stuff did, I could care less now. I mean, all, all that stuff, you know, most of it I don't even hear. You know, unless somebody tells me, I don't hear most of it because I don't read anything. I don't listen, you know, read anything that's written. Everything you read is bullshit. It's all <laughs> bullshit, everything. And some of the things that they'll say that the fighters say, I don't 100% believe that either. So, I, so many things get taken out of context. So I don't read or look at any of that stuff. So unless somebody shows it to me or I hear other people talking about it, I don't know about it anyway. Well, and I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to say that there aren't guys. Listen, every time Tito Ortiz fought, I was hoping he would he would get his ass kicked. Um, you know, Tito <laughs> and I had a very public... Uh, it was a pretty good 30 for 30 about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, you know, we did not like each other. And, um, yeah, so most of the time when he fought. But th- there aren't any kids out there right now um, fighting that I that I don't like like that.